Hi, <clears throat> I am the PC expert amateur, and well, I think that I want you to know that I hope you have a happy new year, 2024. It's coming right up here in a few hours. Well, several hours, actually. At least for me right now. Maybe not for you. And we're going to look at a different brand. Uh, I haven't, uh, I've got s several of these. Most of them are 140s, but this is from the brand Bit Phoenix. And it is the Phoenix Spectre. Excuse me, Spectre LED 120. This one actually has the ability to turn the LEDs off, but the switch for that is not included. It's the Bit, Bit Phoenix Hydra BFR HDR K9 RP. Sold separately, or you could just make your own. <coughs> um, shouldn't be that difficult because actually, if I'm not horribly mistaken here, if I can get this off. <laughs> You've got the head right there. It comes plugged into the uh, the cable for the LEDs to be controlled. Um, so you could somehow get um, wiring connected to that, to connect it to this, to connect it to the um, s uh, to a switch. At the bare minimum, or you could even put into that a um, a plug for the power supply. So you could plug it to, into MolexD or SATA. <coughs> that would also be possible. Um, yeah, and I suppose if you wanted to go whole hog, you could build a little circuit that would allow you to um, change the pattern of display, like on and off, or. Uh, cycling or, or something. I don't know exactly how you would do it, but <clears throat> circuitry is not my thing, unfortunately. I wish it was. That would make my life easier. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the fan. Here it is. Nice sickle blades. The lovely uh, Bit Phoenix logo. And that is where you would plug in the extension cable for the LED switch. I better put that plug back in there before I lose it. And it has four LEDs. And this one has uh, red LEDs. They're each in the corners, just like all the other ones. The blades are slightly textured on both sides and the frame is not textured. Let's see what it looks like. see it already that was a weird noise while the bearing was getting going but that's what you get and uh, you know it's not amazing but that's uh, what they came up with I think that noise that we just heard is if you heard I don't know if you heard it but I heard it I think that was just because it had been sitting for a long time and it had to lubricate. So actually, now that I've lubricated it, it actually can start at a lower voltage, I believe, or not. Oh, there's that noise again. Well, that's interesting. I can back off on the voltage, however, and allow it to spin slower or more slowly. Yeah, so right about there. That's the minimum. Hmm, got to be a little bit slower. Kind of mesmerizing watching the uh, 
pattern. All right, and at this speed, you can't hear anything. Now, this fan is appropriate for as an exhaust fan. It's not appropriate for intake or heat uh, air cooler or, or radiator. I can't hear a darn thing out of it right now. But I'm going to turn it off so you can hear that startup noise that I heard, hopefully. Nope, it didn't do it that time. Interesting. So sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, there's a little bit of a... I don't know what that... It's kind of like a... a something grinding against something else almost. And we can get it down really low. Oh darn it, I got it too low. Okay, so let's go ahead. Keep on spinning, baby. So quiet. Only goes up to a thousand RPMs. Of course, if it were going up to 2,000 RPMs, it'd be a lot louder. Maybe it'd be as loud as the Noctua NFA 12x25. Woo! Which got unplugged. Okay. Let's see. Now, this doesn't even have half the airflow of the Noctua, which is another reason it's so quiet, and the static pressure is pathetic. But at least it's quiet, right? For those of you who, so, who are super sensitive. That's about the same pitch for the both of them. I'm going to rise above it. the noise of the bit phoenix yeah <clears throat> so again it's only suitable as an exhaust fan for a case because it's got so little static pressure that it won't be able to handle something more significant than that and um, it does come with screws, and of course it comes with the 93 centimeter long uh, extension for the LED if you get the switch. Um, and that's, that's all there is. I mean, the next one is much better. It's also a Spectre. But it's a Spectre Pro. So this is... You know, not particularly useful, not really worth $14, um, not even close. I mean, I, I wouldn't really recommend it to anybody just because it is so pathetically weak. And there are so many other options out there that are inexpensive and have better airflow and or better static pressure or both. And have, or even if you want ARGB, there are some that are cheap and better than this. Uh, it's just sheerly not worth $14. I, I can't imagine. I didn't actually pay full price for that, but I can't imagine why people think that or thought that $14 was a viable price for something as simple as this that doesn't even come with a switch for the LEDs to be turned on and off. I mean, that's just cheap. It's just super stingy because it's not hard to make a switch. Even I could do that. You know, just go buy a little switch or take it off of something that's, that I don't want to keep and uh, solder it onto the, this, and, and, and there we go. It's done. So um, please help me out by liking, subscribing, and sharing the videos that uh, you think are useful or interesting.
Thank you so much. And uh, have a happy new year. And let's look at the data now. All right. So the BitPhoenix Spectre LED, uh, red LED, BFF, <laughs> best friends forever, BLF, uh, best lover forever. Uh, I don't know. P twelve zero two P twelve zero two five R R P. Yeah, that's a mouthful. You try saying that five times fast. I can't even say it once slowly. And um, yeah, so uh, translucent gray all the way around, except for the hub, of course, which has their black and white logo with the phoenix surrounded by. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Wind, maybe. And again, $14. Uh, I wonder what they charge nowadays for it. Hmm, well, don't know. Made in China with only the CE certification, 120 by 25. Don't know the lifespan, but uh, probably 40,000, 60,000, something like that. It's got a one year warranty from the date of purchase. So <laughs> in very short order, since I purchased this, what, nine months ago, I think it was, it, or maybe, no, not nine months, maybe eight months. It's probably going to, it's definitely not going to have a uh, warranty anymore. So it's not from when you start using it, it's from when you buy it. So if you're not going to use it, don't buy it. <laughs> uh, it's got four red LEDs. 110 grams now the yeah, Noctua NFA 12 by 25 has got a six-year warranty over 150,000 hours and it weighs 200 grams weight is not in particularly important in, unless unless you are building a portable desktop computer yes there are cases out there that actually have <laughs> one or two handholds on them the smallest ones is a single one on the top of the case, and the larger ones have it back in front, um, extending out of the top of the case usually. So, you know, if you want, if you wanted to build something like that, you're going to want to stay away from these 200 gram uh, devices. Nine blades, same as an Octua, and standard mounting hole distance, 1,000 RPMs maximum. 10% var variance, 43.5 CFMs of airflow, 0.62. <laughs> and I applaud Bitfenix for being honest. A lot of companies don't publish that when it's that low. But it is um, 0.62 millimeters of water for the static pressure. 20 decibels maximum, but you know it's a really slow fan, so what, what else are you can expect? And uh, the cable is 57 centimeters. There's no daisy chaining, no sleeve. It's got a three pin DC connector and a fluid dynamic bearing. 12 volts, 10.8 to 13.2, 1.92 watts, 0.16 amps. And it has indicators for flow and direction. Now, it seems like with most of the fans that the indicators for flow and direction are located on the same side as where the cable comes out. And it rotates clockwise. It comes with four screws. And it does not come with the LED switch. So uh, you have to buy that yourself. Sorry. Or make it. Better yet. And it comes with an extension for the LEDs of 93 centimeters long. And there you go. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.